At one point in time, Netflix decided to renew The Society for another season. Fans were hyped for another installment of the show, but it seems as if the show makers and Netflix have given up midway. Here's why The Society Season 2 will never happen. So what was the series based on? The Society was created, written, and executive produced by Christopher Kaiser. He built the whole plot on an intriguing elevator pitch, which went like, what if Lord of the Flies and The Leftovers had a baby, and that baby grew up in the privileged society of West Ham, Connecticut in the year 2019. As you might have expected, everyone found that pitch extremely creative, and the show also ended up being an instant hit. It starred Legions, Rachel Keller, Big Little Lies, Catherine Newton, and Blockers, Gideon Adlin. Season one of the show was focused on the group of Gen Zers who returned from the school trip, only to discover that all of the adults and younger kids have mysteriously vanished. The children are horrified and miss their families. But in the wake of these mysterious disappearances, the teens are forced to quickly mature and team up as they figure out a way to survive. And since teens don't run society in the way you'd expect, it leads them towards increasingly difficult decisions along the way. Why was the show canceled? Netflix originally renewed the society for season two on July 9th, 2019. A press release confirmed the series would return in 2020, but didn't specify a date. But in August 2020, it was reported that Netflix reversed its decision and ended up canceling the series. Naturally, fans were shocked to find out that the series has been canceled, especially because, on paper, it doesn't make sense for the society to be canceled. The show proved to be popular for fans and critics alike. People were enjoying it immensely, and even amidst production difficulties, they were looking to film in the fall of 2020. But Netflix cited the pandemic as the main reason why the show was canceled. According to Deadline Hollywood, series like The Society and I Am Not Okay With This got canceled because they had more complicated scheduling than other Netflix series during the pandemic. For The Society in particular, having to balance the schedules of a large, youthful cast and paying for COVID tests and restrictions increased the budget significantly. So when push came to shove, Netflix simply couldn't afford another season of The Society in 2020. Who would have returned for the new season? When news of the second season came out, it was expected that most, if not all, of the cast would return. Except for Rachel Keller, Seth Merriweather, and Chloe Levine, since they were the characters that were killed in season one. Other characters that were coming back included Catherine Newton as Allie, Gideon Adlin as Becca, Sean Birdie as Sam, Natasha Leo Berdizo as Helena, Jacques Coleman as Will, Olivia De Jong as Elle, Alex Fitzalan as Harry, Christine Froseth as Kelly, Jose Julian as Gordy, Toby Wallace as Campbell, Jake Mulhern as Grizz, Spencer House as Clark, Emilio Garcia Sanchez as Jason, Grace Victoria Cox as Lexi. All these young actors were super excited to get back on set, but sadly that opportunity never came. What was the season two plot going to be like? When the showmakers confirmed the season two renewal, series creator Chris Kaiser offered this about where the show was heading thematically. Season one deals a lot with men versus women, and it deals only briefly with race, but I think you can expect that conversation about class and race to keep coming up. All these things need to be relitigated in a world in which there are no givens. We hope over time, and if we're lucky enough to get a season two to explore all the social contract questions that we take for granted. As you might already know, the Society season one covered a lot of ground throughout 10 hour long episodes. The show followed a group of high school juniors and seniors from a sleepy town of West Ham, Connecticut who were meant to go on a school field trip but return to their hometown because of vague reasons. But as soon as they return home, the teens realize they were the only ones left with no parents, no government, or discernible social structure in place. They also discovered that all roads out of town were mysteriously blocked by forests, as if their town had been picked up from its original place and dropped in the middle of nowhere. But the teens don't give up hope, and over the course of six months, they all work together to rebuild their lives, creating a new society where they attempt to form a governing body, ration food, and help each other through an otherwise 
this confusing and upsetting situation. But things quickly spiral out of control when tough decisions and power plays are made. And after this, betrayals happen, cliques form, and hate grows among the kids. This leads to arrests and even deaths. Season 2 would have followed a similar trajectory, with the teenagers learning how to navigate a governing body full of their young friends. The show might have also revealed the details of what happened to the adults in the town, and why all the exits are blocked by trees. What questions will never be answered? The Society Season 1 left viewers with some very interesting places, especially because it ended on a cliffhanger. Perhaps the biggest question that needs to be answered is, where exactly are all of the parents and community leaders of West Ham? And will the children be reunited with their parents shortly? It is also important to know who created this whole situation. Is this some kind of government experience? Or are there higher powers at play here? The final scene of season one quickly teased this, revealing Harry's mom and one of the town leaders going into a library to read Peter Pan to the children of West Ham. Other adults stand in the back, listening to the story and everyone looks extremely sad. Everyone is also wearing yellow ribbons as a sign of remembrance. Then the camera cuts to a plaque on the library wall that is listing all of the teenagers' names who have been living in isolation throughout season one. Maybe the plaque implies that the adults believe their teen kids are dead. This could also be a part of a bigger constructed lie to explain why the teens aren't with them. This is why fans still need major answers about where these West Ham adults and children really are. The other big question. The other big question of season two needs to answer is why this is happening in the first place. Season one did give us some clues about why the teens are living in what might be a replica of their hometown, but are purposely cut from the rest of the world. Sam discovered documentation signed by his father father and Cassandra, and Allie's father about the town paying to have a mysterious smell overtake the town. Nobody knows what this smell is, and this was clearly a plot point addressed in the pilot but never looked into over the season. In another interesting turn of events, some girls discovered photos they'd taken during the bus ride for what they thought was their school trip. But as they rummaged through the pictures, they realized that their bus driver was an unknown man they'd seen at school right before this whole situation happened. But is the bus driver connected to all this? Did he kidnap the children and take them to another place? And even if he did, what does all of this mean? I guess we will never know. How will the teens survive? Another important question that needed to be addressed in season two revolve around the teens. Firstly, how will they survive this harsh winter season with dwindling food supplies and no clear plan what to do and how to plant more crops? But things might turn out well for the group since they are a bunch of Gen Zers who have proven themselves capable of doing things they have literally no training for. This includes medical aid when a few teens were poisoned with antifreeze at Thanksgiving, and even helping one of them give birth. So maybe they could have taken up farming too. Also, nobody knows what will happen to Allie and Will. If you remember, the first season finale saw Allie, the former town leader, and Will, who was her advisor, arrested for conspiracy to rig the election to make Alice the town mayor. Their arrest was part of an elaborate coup formed by Lexi and Campbell. Campbell is a confirmed sociopath and also the show's lead villain. And season one ended with both Allie and Will chained to a radiator in her house with no information on whether they'd get a fair trial, be freed, or possibly executed in front of everyone else. But getting the answers to these questions seemed a little difficult now, with no sign of a second season being renewed after the initial cancellation. Fans are still hoping for the show to get picked up again, and maybe they'll start an online petition for it too. So, what do you think? Does the society deserve a second chance? Should Netflix pick it up again? Or was it a good idea to cancel the second season? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.